In Australia, kangaroos are protected wildlife, but also a population that grows faster than the land can hold. When numbers surge, the government authorizes controlled harvesting. What you see here is part of that system, a regulated process where nothing goes to waste, not the meat, not the hide. This is the hidden reality behind a material the world uses every day. Kangaroos are built for survival on a continent of extremes. They feed on tough grasses and shrubs, moving constantly across vast dry plains. Their powerful hind legs and elastic tendons let them travel long distances with minimal energy. A female can carry a joey in her pouch while developing the next embryo, a system shaped by unpredictable weather. In good seasons, their numbers rise rapidly. In harsh seasons, they fall just as fast. Before any hide reaches a factory, licensed harvesting and strict population surveys keep this natural cycle in balance. And once the harvest leaves the field, the industrial process begins. Inside facilities designed to use every part of the animal with precision and control. Around 1.5 to 2 million kangaroos are hunted annually under government plans. Every batch begins here at the receiving bay. Kangaroo hides arrive fresh and chilled, not frozen. Next, hides enter the liming drums. Massive rotating cylinders filled with a mixture of Kangaroo hide requires lower sulphide levels than cow hide to prevent grain weakening. Specialized enzymes digest remaining proteins and smooth out the grain.
Now the leather is ready for dye. Kangaroo leather absorbs dye with extraordinary uniformity because of its tight fiber matrix. This flattens and sets the grain. Second, vacuum drying. A vacuum table removes deep moisture. This is where the leather gains its final character. Soft, elastic, and extremely strong. from wet blue to color the uh, leather. The hides are carefully removed from the dye drum, showcasing the rich, new color and supple texture after the tumbling process. After dyeing, hides are dried to about 18 to 22% moisture. Freezing damages fiber alignment, and kangaroo leather is valued because of its long, straight collagen fibers.
Depending on the shoe brand, the finishing formula changes, but generally, kangaroo leather receives light pigment coatings. For premium football boots, finishes are kept thin to maintain barefoot touch sensitivity. Some hides undergo glazing, where a glass roller polishes the grain to a smooth shine. Once finished, hides move to the cutting room. In the football boot facility, technicians use hydraulic presses to cut panels. Finished leather moves to fabrication. Second, the skin, which is highly prized in the luxury fashion industry. Panels are stitched with high tensile polyester threads, then bonded to mesh liners and foam backing. From raw hide to the field, Kangaroo leather is engineered for championship performance. Subscribe for more factory tours and process documentaries. We'll see you in the next one.